Welcome guys, how you doing today? Um, just out for a walk right now. I've been home sick the last couple of days. Uh, I don't actually think I have been sick. I think that I just, I strained my voice because I've been working really hard because we were told in a very short period of time to change our work environment from one of a customer service, customers coming into the store model to essentially an Amazon warehouse. Uh, and so, having to abide. And today, it just snowed. It snowed like mad. It's been, it's like Christmas around here. Here, can you guys see? Like all the snow and all the everything. Just came down right now. It looks like it's probably here to stay. So, looks like we got a white Christmas after all. <clears throat> the thing that's been banging around in my head today, it's been a lot of things, actually. You encounter a lot of different stuff. I think the the big one, is sticking to Canadian politics, is that the Trudeau government releases its first sign of uh, relief or any of that. Uh, and it's just the pretend make-up nonsense, right? Like, it's, it's a huge handout to corporate business. Um, they're going to... You know, what, 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 what the Liberals do when they want to pretend like they're actually... Uh, helping or caring about anybody. They'll take programs that have existed for forever and they'll increase them by like two, three percent, you know, just enough to make sure that they stick it to stay up with inflation, essentially. And then they can point at it and be like, oh, but we did, we, we put, we put more financing towards the childcare benefit. It's like, whoop do you do in Kalamazoo, right? And it just flows into the liberal strategy, the divide and conquer strategy, right? Like if you're parents with kids, well, then you're grateful for any crumb that comes your way. Uh, but like, go through, go through the relief bill that they, that they sent down. What, what does it have for workers? Oh, fucking nothing. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Which is the liberal MO, right? Like they, they're interested in selling workers to capitalists, uh, and then to be rewarded by those capitalists once they leave power. That's how the liberals operate. Uh, and they're not actually interested in helping anybody. They're just interested in having the appearance as though they want to help people. So they'll release like a 20 page document all with like almost insignificant adjustments to programs that already exist. And all of which, of course, like, oh yeah, an extra $10 a month for so-and-so an extra this and that for anybody. Right. And if you're just like a casual observer, right. Or if you're a person who's living your life and you're just going around trying to make ends meet and you don't really pay attention to politics because politics has not really done anything for you for the last 40 years anyway, so why would you put any effort towards that? Um, you can look at that and shrug and be like, oh, I guess the liberals are doing something. And they're not, right? This is what's important to remember. The liberals aren't actually interested in helping you. They're interested in looking like they're helping you. The, uh, which, of course, makes them more dishonest than even the conservatives, who aren't actually interested in helping anyone, and they're very upfront about that. Um, like, what this bill that the liberals are putting forward, it is essentially just a massive handout to corporate, their corporate donors, right? That is what it is. The argument, and it comes from the right, it comes from the conservatives, like, when the Liberals passed the CERB, which was direct uh, help for individuals, uh, and it did, it helped a great deal. It increased our safety by an awful lot. It flattened the curve, if you'll remember, an awful lot. It worked, right? It worked. And the Conservatives criticized the Liberals because the Conservatives said all of that money should have gone to businesses with this absurd... Um, trickle-down economics ideology that doesn't work and is, like, heretical, basically. So essentially just give money to rich people, and then somehow that will somehow benefit the populace. And now we're going through, like, the height of a pandemic, and while we're at the height of it, our leadership is scrambling, going, oh, what can we possibly do, and how could we... Po you could have passed a CERB again. 
you could have passed support systems to ensure that the populace could have said to their businesses, um, yeah, we're no longer beholden to you through this process of wage slavery that we all exist under, uh, so we're going to seek our own safety, right? But the capitalists aren't interested in that uh, for obvious reasons, right? The capitalists don't want the workers to actually have power or authority in their own lives. They want... Uh, capitalists want power and the prestige and wealth for themselves. They're not interested in sharing any of that. And they've been very upfront about that, so that's not news. The... But what what is disheartening is when I am in the populace, talking to people within the populace, and they seem to believe that liberals are at all their allies whatsoever. Like, liberal support should be zero right now. And it should be zero for really obvious reasons. Right? I, of course, I say the same thing about conservatives, right? Conservative support should be zero. But... I mean, it makes sense that conservatives have some degree of support because of the racism and bigotry that exists within the, uh, the human soul, right? And that's who they're playing to for the most part. And so you're not going to actually get rid of that. And so it makes sense that it would manifest in our politics. But the liberals at least pretend not to do that. And so it, I begin to ask, like, who is actually supporting the liberal party? Who are these people who are voting liberal? And when you actually start to talk to people in the populace who are actually interested in voting liberal, it, it's, it's out of fear exclusively. It's people who are uh, scared that not voting liberal is going to result in a conservative government, uh, which is a legitimate fear of conservatives. Uh, but uh, at the same time, it's, it's mainly just a propaganda uh, line, right? Like, Canadian conservatives are not that much different than Canadian liberals, right? They're, they're very similar to one another. Um, really, the only true dividing line is uh, strictly um, diversity issues, right? And so convincing people that, like, well, if the conservatives get in, it's, that's not, like, it's not this monstrous loss, right? Like, the conservatives aren't going to suddenly just ban uh, the existence of gay people and things like this, right? They're not going to do that. Because they understand that they want to win the next election, right? That they can't just go crazy. Well, to be more specific, they can't just reveal how insane they actually are. Because if they do that then they'll be rejected for a long period of time, which is usually how the conservatives roll, right? Like, conservatives only ever seize power when the populace recognizes that the liberals they're supporting are actually worthless conservatives. And so support for the conservative party, uh, sorry, for the liberal party collapses, leaving a bit of a power vacuum where the left can't coalesce under other leadership fast enough and so the conservatives take power for a small stint of time uh, when every, and everyone looks at them and says these are abhorrent, repugnant troll people, and they are. Uh, and so they bounce back to liberal because at least the liberals are good looking and smile and, and say the right words. And we're caught in this sort of perpetual loop of stupidity that is completely manufactured and completely planned. Like, both the liberals and the conservatives understand the game that they're playing. They both understand what they're doing, and they both understand how to play it. And the populace is just gullibly going along with it, because we don't actually pay attention, right? We don't actually believe that uh, the conservatives and the liberals are allies, when they clearly are. Like, they really obviously are. I think you have to be actually a little bit thick to think otherwise at this point. That they're obviously allied uh, against you and in favor of corporate power. Right? That's, that's obviously their game. 
and the and so what can we do right as citizens well i mean i think we could abandon both those parties i think that's key uh, I think abandoning the conservatives and the liberals to in totality, like not and not and not in rhetoric or not in anything like this, right? I think one of the things that I think we need to start being really forthright and clear with these hack uh, corporatists uh, is that their time is over, right? Like we should absolutely stop trying to negotiate with them because that's all they'll want that's all they'll ever do right they'll, they'll never actually pass legislation to help anybody they'll never actually do anything to help anyone right they'll just negotiate a lot they'll just do another um another talking group or another investigative thing or another this or another that when everybody knows, like, take something like the basic income, which has mass popular super support in the in the populace. There's no reason not to pass this legislation at this point. Everyone wants it. Only complete Luddites and, uh, and illiterates think that it's uh, unaffordable. Only the uh, uh, people who are actually invested in hurting other people are interested in keeping this absolutely crucial legislation away from people and yet it's not going to happen right why isn't it going to happen because the owners of the conservatives and the liberals don't want it simply put and of course my deep concern especially when it comes to conservatives who are like roundly illiterate like they don't like i'll be online right and i'll I'll be talking with someone, and they'll literally put give me a link to a document saying, haha, this disproves you, and then I just read what they sent me. And I would say that like 99 times out of 100, when I read what they sent me, it disproves their point. Right? <laughs> like, 99 times out of 100, I like read what they wrote, and I'm like, this actually disproves what you said. Like, completely. Or it's just some hack propaganda piece from, like, the National Post or something. And, like, I don't know what we do about this as a people. Like, what are we supposed to do? When, when our politics has ceased to be, be about uh, how do we help members of the populace, and it seems to be strictly about sportsmanship at this point, right? Like, it seems to be... Like, you can straight out say to a conservative, Aaron O'Toole will privatize your healthcare system. And they will just go, no, he won't. That's crazy. That's just propaganda talk. And you can literally show them a video of Aaron O'Toole saying that he wants to privatize the healthcare system. You can show them uh, all of the provincial conservatives moving towards privatizing their healthcare systems. You can show them these things outright, and they still will not believe you. Because humans have built within them this kind of innate tribalism, that it's not about how do we actually improve our lives, and how do we actually improve uh, the conditions of the citizenry. It's about having a winning team. That's what it's about. It's about having a team that wins. And if you're on the winning team, then you're succeeding, even as they betray you. Which conservatives will betray their uh, their base, without a doubt. That's what conservatives do. The, uh... And I shouldn't so single the conservatives out. The, the liberals have been uh, very forthright in their uh, inability. Like, they're willing to, to talk the talk, but they're not actually going to do anything. And I mean... My question then becomes, like, why are we so behind the eight ball on this? The European nations have already gotten rid of their liberals and conservatives for exactly this reason. And we're just so behind. Because I think it's just, we're naturally more gullible. Alright, this is a short one. I'm going to close this one down. Alright, love you all. Have fun out there.